in this section i am going to discuss about economic aspects of power generation the function of power station is to deliver power to a large number of consumers but load on the power station varies from time to time due to uncertain demands of the consumers this can be measured by using economic aspects of power generation load curve in this graph clearly indicates x axis is time in hours and y axis is load is represented in terms of kilowatt or megawatt in this load curve shows in a day how many load is presented that is the minimum as well as for maximum load here clearly indicated in this graph the minimum load is 1 megawatt here the y axis is taken for 2 4 6 8 and 10 the load in terms of megawatt the minimum load is 1 megawatt and the maximum load is 6 megawatt the load on the power station is not constant but varying time to time due to uncertain demand of the consumer that is hour to hour or day to day or month to month now you can observe in this graph from early morning the one to 12 o'clock to up to the 4 o'clock the load is more or less equal to 1 megawatt after that the slightly varying again the drop again it is increases that is the load on the power station is not constant but varying time to time due to uncertain demand of the consumer and another thing the load is different from holiday as well as working day and summer and winter is also different if you consider variation of load in hours is called that is represent for daily load curve and monthly load curve can be taken from daily load curve of specific month by calculating average value of power next one is load duration curve the load duration curve can be plotted from the ordinary load curve that is the maximum load is plotted in left hand side and decreasing load are represented in the right hand side in descending order in this is the load curve this is load duration curve the load duration curve can be taken from the load curve here also for x axis represented time in hour and the y axis represented load in kilowatt or megawatt here the first four hour the load is 5 megawatt the next four hour the load is 15 megawatt and next eight hour the load is 20 megawatt and the remaining eight hour the load is for 5 megawatt in figure a that is the load curve represented the daily load curve the same plotted in the load duration curve in descending order that is the maximum load is taken for first left hand side and goes on decreases towards the right hand side here the maximum load is 20 megawatt and the next is 15 megawatt the remaining load is 5 megawatt that is the maximum load the 20 megawatt for 8 hour the remaining 4 hour is 15 megawatt and the remaining here 8 plus 4 that is the remaining 12 hour for 5 megawatt in load duration curve is plotted in the maximum is left hand side and goes on decreases towards the right hand side here you can observe the 20 megawatt is for 8 hour and 15 megawatt for 4 hour the remaining 12 hours is for 5 megawatt in descending magnitude of load duration curve is represented in this figure what are the use of this to the load curve as well as for load duration curve by using load curve and load duration curve the load variation can be measured in a day that is at any time within 24 hours we can measure the early morning 4 o'clock or 8 o'clock or 12 o'clock or afternoon 2 or 4 pm at any time we can measure how much the load variation is available the next one we can note down maximum and minimum load on the power station how much the demand is presented during this time now in this load curve we can measure the early morning 8 o'clock the load is available for 15 megawatt after that the slightly the load is increased the remaining 8 hour the load is for 20 megawatt this can be measured with the help of load curve as well as for load duration curve and area under this curve gives the number of units generated in a day in power plant we can measure how much 
unit is generated and how much the coal is utilized so everything we can calculate it and we can measure with the help of load curve as well as for load duration curve next terms and factors the variable load can be measured by terms and factors in power sector or energy sector that the first one connected load connected load is the sum of continuous rating of all the equipment connected to the supply system we want to measure for example in a home how much the load is connected we want to calculate it, what are the appliances utilized for the particular period or given period that is nothing but connected load connected load is the sum of continuous rating of all equipment connected or utilization at the time is called as supply system that is nothing but a connected load the second one is maximum demand another name of maximum demand is peak demand or load demand maximum of all load on a power station or generating station during a given period or particular time is known as maximum demand maximum demand is always less than or equal to the connected load that is generally all consumers never switch on all the appliances suppose if all consumers switch on at a time then the load is equal to connected load next demand factor it is defined as the ratio of maximum demand on the power station to the connected load that is demand factor equal to maximum demand by connected load here the maximum demand means at the particular time what are the appliances connected or utilized electrical supply the maximum demand means at the particular time what are the appliances connected or utilized electric supply and connected load means taken per permission from electricity board that is some of the consumer domestic appliances they are connected for 500 watt 1 kilowatt 1.5 kilowatt 2 kilowatt so on etc the demand factor value is always less than unit here you can calculate the demand factor is nothing but maximum demand with respect to the connected load for a particular consumer using two tube light the each capacity for 45 watt they are using for one fan that is 75 watts and the maximum demand that is two light they are using the each capacity for 45 watt and the fan capacity for 75 watt and the connected load the consumer is connected or permission 500 watt now you can calculate it you can substitute here that is the maximum demand on the particular consumer is 195 watt by the connected load is 500 watt he is getting less than one that is always the demand factor the value is less than one or less than unity the next one is average load it is defined as the average of all load occurring during a period depending upon the duration or time period it is represented for daily monthly yearly average load it is defined as average of all load occurring during a period now the daily average load is number of units generated in a day by number of hours in a day that is how much number of units generated in a day the number of units is represented in terms of kilowatt hour the maximum demand is represented for kilowatt and the units generated is represented in terms of kwh that is kilowatt hour. in number of hours in a day is that is 24 hours next one we can take in terms of month that is the monthly average load equal to number of units generated in a month by number of hours in a month in a month 30 days the per day 24 hours that is 720 hours next yearly average load or annual average load that is number of units generated in a year with respect to number of hours in a year the number of hours in a year is 8760 hours that is in a year 365 days the each day is 24 hours that is 365 into 24 8760 hours next load factor it is defined as the ratio of average load to the maximum demand average load to the maximum demand the load factor may be daily monthly or annual load factor now the average load means energy generated in a given period with respect to hours of operation in a given period the average load we can find out daily average load monthly average load yearly average load. 
here you can take for the average load value the given period in a day with respect to the hours in a hour at that time the load factor is daily load factor if you substitute here the monthly means monthly load factor if you substitute the number of units generated in a year with respect to hours in a year that is nothing but monthly load factor load factor is always less than 1 because the average load is lower than the maximum demand if you calculate the consumer how much the load is connected on an average in a month that is always lower value the average load comparing to the maximum demand for that purpose the load factor is always less than unity that is less than 1 Next is diversity factor. It is defined as the ratio of sum of individual maximum demand of all consumer to the maximum demand on the power station. Sum of individual maximum demand means in a power station connected to various types of consumer that is domestic load, industrial load, so on etc. This load is differ not for same. That is add all individual loads. That is sum of individual maximum demand. Here we want to connect it for individual, add for the individual demand with respect to the maximum demand present on the particular station. Diversity factor is always greater than 1. Now you can take that is the maximum demand on the power station is always less than sum of individual maximum demand on the consumer. Never they are connected for the connected load. For that purpose, the sum of individual maximum demand is lower value comparing to the maximum demand on the power station for that purpose diversity factor is always greater than unity next effects of load factor and diversity factor load factor and diversity factor plays an important role to decide the cost of the electrical energy for different type of consumer they are paid for different cost that is domestic consumer industrial consumer Commercial load, they are not pay for the same tariff. These consumers, they will be pay for different cost. The cost, they will be fixed with the help of load factor as well as for the diversity factor. In the graph clearly indicates the x-axis is taken for load factor and the diversity factor and y-axis is taken for generation cost. If higher the value of load factor and diversity factor, lower will be overall cost of unit of generation. Here clearly indicates if the load factor and diversity factor is the value is increased means automatically the per unit cost is decreased. But the cost is fixed with the help of load factor as well as for diversity factor. Next one, plant capacity factor. It is defined as the ratio of actual energy produced to the maximum possible energy that could have been produced during in a given period. That is Actual energy produced means how much energy generated in the power plant, how much energy is generated in the power plant with respect to maximum generation capacity of the power plants. For example, you can take one thermal power plant, the installed capacity is 500 megawatt, but the generation capacity is only for 470 megawatt, the remaining 30 megawatt in terms of losses in the power plant itself. But on the particular power plant, the demand is 350 megawatt. Here the demand is 350 megawatt, the generation capacity is 470 megawatt. That is actual energy produced is 350 megawatt by maximum energy that could have been produced is 470 megawatts. Next one, plant use factor. It is defined as the ratio of actual energy produced to the product of plant capacity and number of hours for which the plant was in operation. This is nothing but plant use factor. Next one, utilization factor. It is defined as the ratio of maximum demand to the rated capacity of the power plants. And utilization value is always less than unity. For example, you can take the demand is 350 megawatt. Already you have seen one example taken for thermal power plant. The plant capacity for 500 megawatt but the generation capacity is 470 megawatt and the demand on the plant is 350 megawatt here the maximum demand is 350 megawatt the rated capacity that is the plant capacity is 470 megawatt that is 350 by 470 you are getting 0 0.74 always less than 
unity. That is the utilization factor value is always less than unity. That's all. Thank you. The next section we will be derive for and solve for numerical problems.